Thrivecart just released the first big development push to their product in several years, and it's a pretty big one. Uh, although there's a lot more to come to the Thrivecart product in the future, I think this is setting the stage for where they see themselves going with the product moving forward. If you're already a Thrivecart Pro user, you should log into your account and do your upgrade right now. You have until June 22nd-ish, basically 60 days from April 22nd, in order to claim your free upgrade. If you're an existing standard user, then you have 30 days from April 22nd, so that means May 22nd-ish, to upgrade to basically Pro Plus. It's the same thing, right? Because you're basically just upgrading, so you get to spend $195 just to upgrade your account like everybody else already did, and then you can take advantage of that free upgrade to Pro Plus, lock in that lifetime deal. Now here's the biggest change to the Thrivecart business model. If you are a new customer, you are going to be paying an annual subscription to Thrivecart Pro Plus, meaning you are not already, as of April 22nd, a standard or pro account holder. You're going to be paying $2.95 per year for the additional Thrivecart Pro Plus benefits. And with this change, now basically they're phasing out Thrivecart Pro and replacing it with Pro Plus. Meaning for standard users, you're still paying the lifetime deal, but if you want what was Pro and what is now Pro Plus, you're now going to pay $2.95 a year. We're gonna take a look at those features. I'll give you some opinions on you know, what I think is really worth it or not, and we can go from there. All right, so here are the new features in Thrivecart Pro Plus. Remember, this is replacing Pro. So everything that was in Pro plus basically all this. Uh, so the big one is going to be the multiple order bumps. The multiple order bumps, you can have up to six of them. That's pretty good. I've often felt like in Thrivecart, being limited to just one order bump kind of leaves money on the table. Uh, so if you've had success with order bumps, give it a shot. You can add more up to six. I do think this chart adds a little bit of fluff here. Not every one of these is a huge, massive change. Um, but I want to go over a couple of them that I think are pretty good. One of those being tax inclusive pricing. So now you can, um, I'll actually show you this here. So when you're setting up a product, you can click calculate sales tax. So once you've chosen your product category and the type of tax you want it to collect, for example, I set mine to, uh, to collect EU vet, you can choose down here with this new dropdown, whether you want to add it to the price, which is what it traditionally has always been, or if you want to include it in the price. So just like it says here, if you want your price to be $100, then your buyer will always be charged $100 at checkout, and any tax will be included in this amount. So it's just a really nice, clean way uh, for your customers just to see the price of your product without the tax. All right, coming back to our little table here, I think this would be an easier way to look at it. Um, they've got some recurring revenue upgrades. I thought that was an interesting one, the way that they've implemented this. So, so when setting up your product, it's actually on the same tab here under pricing. You can check this box to say cancel another product's subscription. And this is kind of cool because now there are the two ways you can look at it. The first one is just I'm buying one product, canceling the other one starting the new one. So maybe you have like a gold membership and a platinum membership. If they buy the platinum, it's just gonna cancel the gold. Well, the other way to look at it would be monthly payments, quarterly payments, annual payments. So if someone's on a monthly billing of a product, you can replace it with annual billing of a product. So that would be a way within Thrivecart to move people between pricing tiers. Ultimately, I wish this was a little bit easier. I've never been a really big fan of their member hub. I feel like that's the biggest update they could possibly make to the platform in the future would be to fix their member hub section to make it more uh, accessible for customers and for store owners. And I think a lot of the upgrading within that kind of like, su like subscription upgrade groups have talked about those from other tools on this channel. I think that those would be a really great thing to have in the future, uh, but this is at least a decent start. Crypto payments, you get the idea if you want to take crypto. Uh, UTM tracking, that's going to be handled under the new reporting section. So I might as well show you here. Um, so for example, um, these different uh, product and sales reports, UTM tracking, comparison, subscription metrics, all that kind of stuff is going to be handled within their reporting section. And now there's this drop down, and you can see products and sales, subscriptions, funnels, and coupons. So for example, if you wanted to track coupon stats, here you go. And here's where you would see all UTM tags. So you can set up different filters and you can say, I want to only track UTM tags that were uh, from source equals medium campaign term, etc. And then you can put in your parameter here. So if I selected, I only want to see stuff that comes from email, I would enter my parameter, but email, if it came in as a UTM tag in the past, I'll have it in here, I'll select it. And since you can also track coupons, you can filter it to see, I only want to see certain coupon usage, etc. And these reports are pretty decent. Um, the reporting in general for Thrivecart has always just been kind of okay. And now they're actually pretty decent. Nothing 
there's nothing here that I would say like blows me away. Like nothing's like, oh, this is amazing reporting. It's just pretty good reporting. I particularly like the UTM tags. I think that's pretty cool. To me, that's the best reporting change that came in from Pro Plus. Now we were talking about the order bumps. I do want to show those. So with the order bumps, you can set up up to six under um, bumps right here. You can add a bump. We'll just put a test bump. We'll say that this order bumps $25. You can choose whether it's pre-selected or not, whether you always show it. You can choose to show or hide it for returning customers, which I thought was interesting. So if you want to show it for a returning customer, um, it's worded kind of weird. It almost makes it seem like someone who went to the cart left and came back to the cart, but it's actually for showing it for people who have bought previous products. So if someone already purchased Doug's order bump as like a standalone product, I don't want to show it to them as an order bump. I could say I want to hide it for anybody who has purchased, maybe Doug's order bump was the name of a product. I would hide it for those people. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, another thing that I like about it is down here, if we add that in here, I could add up to six, like I said, but you could add different rules. Like I want to show this bump when, like when they select this bump, I want to show another bump. So you could have like six different order bumps where depending on which bumps they're checking, like I want Doug's order bump one, well then I'm gonna show another order bump for you that basically like cascades and stacks up the order offers. It's a pretty interesting uh, thing to play around with. I think this is going to require probably a lot of testing to see, or maybe you already know if you're using another tool, this would still require a lot of testing, I think, to kind of lock it in. Another, uh, another feature I wanna show you is the QR checkout. So now when you're checking out for a product, you can get the URL, which you've always been able to do, but you can also create a QR code for somebody by clicking this QR code button right here. And instead of having to go out and create your own QR code somewhere else, you could just generate one, put it wherever you want someone to scan a QR code and it'll take them right to the product. You know, not the most amazing feature in the world, but it's nice that it is just built into the tool and you don't have to go get a QR code anywhere else. And also this tracking ID right here, this is pretty cool. Um, this basically allows you to append something to this product, put tracking ID test. And this helps you know where people are coming from when they purchase it. So another example would be for me to say, uh, YouTube description, I can say, get my code. And now if I were to share the link to this product in the YouTube description of my video, and someone made a purchase, I would know where that data came from in the new reporting. And I think that's pretty cool too, because I already do this with another um, tool. I, I do this with Fathom Analytics using a bunch of different checkout tools. And I rely on this. This this is the kind of data that I personally really like. So take advantage of this feature, create your different ref IDs and be able to see where your sales are coming from. Now, really what they don't have on here um, that kind of powers a lot of this or and honestly, I don't know if it powers a lot of this. I th I'm sure it has something to do with the order bumps, um, but something that they've decided to do is they've decided, if I go into my settings, go to integrations, they've decided to move everything from the original Stripe integration, which could utilize an existing Stripe account, and they decided to move to Stripe Connect or Connect Plus as it's labeled here. Now, it's no surprise that companies like this, particularly ones with lifetime business models where they sell you a $600 or whatever a product one-time fee, right? They don't really make all their money off of that. They make it off of Stripe fees. It's just a well-known fact. If you didn't know it, well, now you do. Now it's well-known. Now, I don't know if the change to Stripe Connect makes a big difference for this. I'm assuming it's going to be better for them to track their uh, basically commissions from Stripe on the sales. Um, that's just how the business world works. This isn't like some dark secret here. It's just how the world works. Most of these companies aspire to be taking uh, a commission from Stripe. It's just how it works, right? It's no different from SureCard or any of these other tools. So I don't know why this change was made. I just know that it's one of the things I really don't like about Stripe. I don't like that I have seven different Stripe. I call them profiles, but really in your Stripe account in the upper left-hand corner, uh, when you can click that and then see all the different Stripe accounts or profiles that you have for all the different tools that are connected to Stripe. It's a, it's a little annoying um, for many different reasons. Like I have all my payouts happen on Monday. So every Monday it's just like you've received a payment, boom, 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 a payout just from all seven Stripe accounts. I'm going to get seven different 1099s. It's just, it's obnoxious. And this isn't Thrivecart's thing. This is how Stripe runs their, their business when they have third-party applications, create connections into Stripe. Um, but I think in fairness, if I'm going to be critical of other tools doing this, I should be critical of, of it working this way with Thrivecard as well. I'm just critical of the multiple Stripe profiles in general, and I wish there was a way to condense them all. So that's the big change on your account side where you're going to need to use Stripe Connect Plus in order to take advantage of any of these features. If you're thinking, well, I don't want another Stripe profile, I don't want to do this Stripe Connect thing, well then 
Pro Plus isn't going to be for you because you got to have it in order to do it. And I'm assuming that this is going to be basically phased out. I'm assuming new accounts when they come in aren't even going to be able to do the old Stripe connection. That's my guess. I, I'm going to guess that's going to be deprecated over time. So there's a bunch of other little stuff in here. Um, kind of whatever. Nothing's particularly worth uh, mentioning in this video. Um, but in general, what do I think about this update? I think the multiple order bumps is awesome. I think the recurring revenue upgrades is definitely on the right track. Things I don't see here that I hope are in the new items coming later will be the conditional upsells and downsells. That's something that's been promised for like five years. Uh, I know that it's different ownership now, but I hope that's something that becomes a priority. Um, is Pro Plus worth, well, it's totally worth you taking advantage of it if you already have an account, just click the button. Is it worth $295 per year? I think that's going to be that's going to ultimately be what you have to decide. If you think multiple order bumps will help you um, make up that difference, if you think the recurring revenue upgrade system will make a difference for you, and if you really want some of the sales reporting and tracking that isn't available in the baseline version of Thrivecart, uh, then you decide if you think it's worth it. I think it is interesting that they are introducing a reoccurring revenue model here instead of just the lifetime model. Um, Thrivecart has always had that thing on their website. <laughs> I mean, back in 2017, I think when I got Thrivecart, it said had that countdown timer where it's like your price guaranteed for the next two days. You know, subscriptions are coming. Well, they're here. It finally happened 10 years later almost, um, but it happened. So they are adding that recurring price, but it's relatively super cheap to what everybody else is adding. But again, if you don't need these features, don't upgrade. It's not worth it for you. So that is a really quick look at the Thrivecart Pro Plus features that they've added and kind of the direction that they're going. I think in general, the Thrivecart platform is, is finally being taken care of the right way. I like to see that development is happening. I still want to see the type of development that I've been waiting for with the conditional upsells and better account or customer hub management. And with those two things in place, I think this would kind of reclaim its place at the very, very top. We're kind of living in a, in a time where we have so many choices for tools like this, an abundance of choice. It's hard to say, well, don't use any of those because uh, you know they can't do what Thrivecart can do. It's kind of evened out the playing field. Um, so for Thrivecart to really stand apart now, I think they've got to put some more, put some more thought into that. Okay, but that's Thrivecart Pro Plus. That's what's coming with it. That's the direction they're kind of gone right now. There's my thoughts on the pros and cons. And whether you upgrade, ultimately, totally up to you. Unless you're an existing customer of Thrivecart, claim the free upgrade you have until June 22nd to do it.